Hi, welcome back to Forensic Educational Series. I'm Mike McCutcheon. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do portable super glue fuming, make it easier, either in the classroom or at a crime scene, using the contents of this bag in a hot shot. Now, before we get started, if you're unfamiliar with fingerprinting and super glue fuming, I encourage you to see my other videos on how and why we super glue fume and fingerprint, because today we are just gonna focus on the super glue fuming and making it easier and portable for you. If you're an educator, or an investigator, this is gonna seem familiar to you. This is my portable fuming chamber that I created. I have my plastic bin, my heating element to heat the super glue, my aluminum to put the glue in, in the glue. The problem with this setup is one, it's cumbersome. Taking this in and out of the car, uh, taking it in and out of a classroom, it's not very convenient, especially if you have more than one. The second is power. Your heating element in a classic fuming chamber needs a heating element that requires electricity. If you're on a crime scene outside, you might not have electricity. If you're in a classroom, there may not be enough outlets for all your students to plug in their heating element. And number three is storage. If you have three or four of these or 10 of these, trying to find space to keep these is not gonna be convenient for you. This is a portable fuming chamber, and this is a heating element that doesn't require electricity. Let me demonstrate. So in this bag, you have your base, your framework, you have your hook if needed for evidence, and you have your bag. So now you have your portable fuming chamber. It fits inside the bag. You can take it in and out of your crime scene kit. Now before we get started with our fuming, what I would do is in the square, I'm gonna put my fingerprint on the inside. Now when we're done fuming, my print's gonna turn white and I'll know that the fuming process is complete. So our chamber is set up. I'm gonna add my evidence to it. We'll use this mug. Now we're ready to put our heating element and our super glue in here to start fuming. Okay, this is a product that I bought from Lynn Peavy. It's a heating element with super glue that doesn't need any electricity. Let me demonstrate. You have an activator packet, you have the glue, and a canister. I'm gonna start by adding the liquid. There's a tab on the bottom of the canister. I'm gonna pull that off. I'm gonna add that. Now I'm gonna add my super glue. Now it's ready to go underneath the hood. So I have my hot shot in there. You can see it reacting on the bottom. It's difficult on camera to see the fumes, but the fumes are coming up great. It's holding in here. I'm keeping an eye on, remember I put my fingerprint on the front to make sure that when that turns white that I know that the process of fuming is done. We're gonna give this a few minutes to finish fuming. We'll take the hood off and then we'll process our evidence. Okay, a few minutes have gone by. You can see that the canister has stopped fuming. Our fingerprint that we put on the inside of the bag is now visible. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the hood. Now as in any super glue fuming, you need to open it outside or under a fuming hood or a well ventilated area because the super glue fumes are dangerous. So I'm gonna take this out. We can see that the canister has stopped bubbling so we're just going to put our cover on that. Now that can be discarded. Now we're ready to process our evidence.
And there's our fingerprints visible on our mug. So I showed you very easily how you can make a portable fuming chamber. It took a few seconds to set it up, a few seconds for the activator. It fits in a pouch and you can take it anywhere. I'm going to get back to processing my evidence. I thank you for joining us and hope to see you in my next series.